Hey everybody, it is me, Pacific. You know, I was thinking last night, I think it's time to take a different tack for a while. I've been putting the boot in on American women, and I think we've pretty much beat that dead horse. So, sometimes, if we're all negative, then, you know, people get tired of it after a while. I wanted to do a video today on eating right. <clears throat> People ask me how at 47 years old I managed to keep my slender physique and stuff. I'll be honest. I have some food allergies. When I was a kid I found out I was allergic to corn, wheat. <clears throat> gives me rashes and other problems. Can't have tomatoes, can't have any citric fruit at all. Lemons, limes, oranges, cranberries or pomegranates, acidic foods. I get a mouthful of canker sores. People say that redheads are sensitive to certain foods, and that may be, but... <clears throat> Truthfully put, I've had an advantage a lot of people do not have, and that's called a very high metabolism. That's one. That hasn't slowed down at all. I weigh somewhere between 145. Last summer I was down to 138. But lately I've been keeping it at 150 and I like that. I'd like to get back to my weight in my 20s of 160 pounds. It was kind of nice. But you know, a lot of bananas. I eat oatmeal every morning. Quaker Old Fashioned Quick Oats. Put honey on it. Most of the time in the day, I fast, don't eat, as I go to work, and sometimes I'm too lazy to fix a lunch. And if I'm really hungry, I go down to the Vietnamese restaurant and get some good, good Asian cooked food. Asian food is good stuff, by the way. But viewers, I'm going to tell you a secret, and this goes for obese people as well. If you want to lose weight, get rid of the chips. Get rid of the soda pop and quit going to McDonald's and KFC and all the other fast food restaurants. Excuse me. A lot of people in America do not have good eating habits. It is too easy to go home and get Zappums and throw them in the microwave. And people buy donuts and stuff like that. There's so much saturated fat in donuts and a host of other foods. And one trip to McDonald's pretty much negates any healthy eating you may tend to do. I find that when I get home, I'll have potatoes that I'll cook in the microwave, or I'll chop them up with onions and peas and zucchini and sometimes broccoli or French cut green beans, shrimp. I'll throw it all in a wok, stir fry it with simple sunflower oil salt and pepper, some garlic cloves, and voila, stir fry. I eat a lot of the other white meat, pork chops. I have a lot of fish like tilapia. Some people say, well, you shouldn't eat the farm raised. I've had no problem with it. Chicken, stuff like that. I don't go to fast food restaurants at all. I don't buy any candy bars. I don't pretty much don't eat any food that comes out of a box or that is a frozen dinner at all. Don't touch it. My biggest splurge is going to <clears throat> an Asian buffet restaurant, which could have a lot of MSG. A lot of that I try to get good stuff like mushrooms and sushi and stuff like that. But 99% of the time I eat at home and I cook my own stuff. I'm surprised how many Americans don't even do that anymore. <clears throat> the other thing I do, like yesterday, I went to Red Rocks Amphitheater and walked up and down the stadiums where they have concerts, and that is high elevation plus steep. And I do a lot of walking, and then when I work, I work hard. So I'm always busy, always keep moving, except when I'm on here, sitting here making videos or listening to music. Simple exercise, cutting out junk food, processed foods. And I do this video because <clears throat> some one of my fans on here did a video on fasting. And she makes some good points in it. But the body doesn't like junk food. 
when you eat junk food, you are what you eat. And it affects every fiber of your being. Eating right is important. I'm amazed at how a bowl of simple oatmeal with honey in it is enough to carry me through the day. And people buy box cereals, buy Kellogg's and General Mills, and it's loaded with the first, first clue, guys. The first two or three ingredients of sugars in it don't even get it. I also have a question about drinking cow's milk. I've always said milk is good for cows, but it's not for us. There's other ways to get calcium. And now they've got a host of other things out there like <clears throat> rice milk and silk milk and stuff that's supposed to be better for you. But interesting stuff. Eating well is a good thing. This video is going to be short because if you want to lose weight, and you want to get control of your world, cut out all the fat stuff. Steam vegetables, fishes, stuff like that. Get rid of the batter. Get rid of the deep fried. Get rid of the donuts and the pastries and the microwavable TV dinners. Quit going out to eat. Try it for one month and <clears throat> let me know what happens. It'll take discipline, I'm telling you, but it's worth it. You will notice you feel better. And instead of drinking soda pop, there is not one ounce of value in a can of soda. Just something to think about. This is Pacific signing off. Eat right, live well. Bye-bye.